Hey everybody. So I'm here with another video. Um, we're going to be doing um, the fifth, yes, the fifth video in a series of um, trees that I own. Uh, so welcome to the channel. My name is Jay and this is Bonsai's Forever. Uh, so what I've got here today is the common name is wax myrtle. It's a tree that is native here in Florida and the uh, southern part of the United States. Uh, it's also um, native down in like uh, what is it, uh, the Bahamas and stuff like that. Um, the map showed that they are also found in Alaska. So that's that's kind of an interesting thing being that it's uh, an evergreen and it's um, mostly found in tropical areas or um, warmer areas. It's also found in uh, like uh, swampy areas and desert areas. So this tree is actually a really cool tree. They actually use um, these trees or used to use these trees or still use, I'm not sure 100%, but uh, to make candles um, out of it because it is, you know, it's called a wax myrtle for a reason, I guess. Um, also, I did take some notes, so I'm going to look at my notes here. So they also, they also grow um, flowers and berries. This one didn't this year, uh, probably because it was having a hard time this year. It broke off and it started growing down here and this this is actually going to be a new tree i'm going to cut this off because i really don't like it down here but it has made the, the base of the tree a little bit thicker so that's cool um so yeah it hasn't grown any berries but these berries are they're good for um birds in this region uh like the cardinals and um, the myrtle chickadee i think is what it's called I did some research on this one before I started this video, so hopefully, hopefully I have some more uh, better information than the last video. Um, so these can be in full or partial sun. Their uh, hardiness zone is seven to eleven. They can get down or go down to zero degrees. Um, obviously, they can go to a lot higher temperatures because it does get up into the high 90s and hundreds here in Florida and this this region uh, so pruning you want to do your pruning in winter time so this is uh, early fall so I am going to do some pruning but I'm not going to do like really hard pruning which there's not a whole lot of really hard pruning that I am going to do to it anyway right now there was another part of the tree over here, so it actually looked um, somewhat like a tree before. So it broke off, so I was trying to let it regrow some stuff, and then it grew all this down here. Might have been able to just cut this off uh, before it grew, but it's okay because this can be a new tree because these can be propagated from uh, cuttings. And also, it's in the research I said it can be propagated from saw, and I'm I'm not sure if that means you could cut it off right here and just propagate that or if it's air layering or what that meant. Um, so so repotting is in spring, fall, and winter. So we could repot this now if I needed to, but it's doing really good in this spot. I actually repotted this. Um, I'm trying to remember when I repotted this. I don't remember when I repotted this. Maybe that's why it didn't do so good because I repotted the wrong time of year before I did any research. So always do your research. You might not kill the tree, but you might set it back if you don't repot it at the right right time of year. And a lot of times you will kill a tree if you repot it at the wrong time of year. I had a um, what was it? A shimpaki juniper that I repotted in the middle of the summer and if you know anything about junipers that's a bad idea <laughs> i killed that thing it was sad it was it was a really cool tree but you live and learn right 
and you get good at it because because you make mistakes. Um, also, in the the um, research I did, the the soils can be or the soil can be acidic, it can be neutral, and it can be alkaline. It can be put in clay or um, sand, so you can use a lot of different stuff for the soil. So just any good bonsai soil mix would work really well for these trees. Um, the height, if you let it grow wild, the height can get up to 46 feet roughly and up to 25 feet uh, wide. Um, yeah, so I think that's about what, what I got on my notes there. So, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look it over a little bit because I've just really been just letting it grow. So there's a lot of back budding going on in this tree that I am going to get rid of because like right here, this whole section, we don't need anything growing in this whole section. So all these pieces I'm going to, I'm going to take as cuttings. I don't have but one of these trees right now. I really like it and I really think that it could be um, really useful uh, to have more of them. So I'm going to cut it back because like these branches are obviously dead, which they were some really cool branches. So I'm definitely going to take off the dead branches here and I'm going to work on some of the other stuff over here. I'm going to take this one off pretty much right at the trunk here. I've got a couple of branches here that we'll see where those go. Maybe I can wire this, maybe I can't. I haven't tried that yet. So that's another reason to have multiples of the trees that you have because then you can do practice stuff on one tree. Like this one is, this one's a really nice large tree, you know, so I don't want to try bending the branches and then just snap them off and I um, if I remember right that might be what happened here I was trying to bend it and I snapped it off so there you go so you want to have multiple trees of the same species so that you can practice on some of the like some of the smaller stuff uh, before it gets really really big and nice so that you don't damage your you know really old trees I'm gonna take that piece off thinking I want to take this piece off so this this is also an evergreen I don't know if I mentioned that it's an evergreen so it shouldn't drop its leaves in the winter time so any place that it doesn't have a whole lot of leaves currently um, I might take off and just let let these grow into its place so I might actually go ahead and Take this whole branch off and let this this piece here be the branch this piece here Let's see if I can make that a, a new tree from cutting I'm gonna see what I can do without taking that branch off because it is kind of a, a Y right there too so it looks a little weird I might just take it off and then work it back a little bit so damage things um, messing around with that. Need some better branch cutters. Yeah, so we'll see if that'll grow. Definitely give you guys an update later on with that. I'm going to work this back a little bit, get rid of this big knob. really becoming a, a big fan of myrtles like all of them because I like the crepe myrtle I like this wax myrtle I don't know if there's any other myrtles but if there is please comment let me know if you know These two seem to be able to heal 
keel over cuts pretty well. They also looks like they leave. Um, they don't. They don't cover it up. Yeah, this this branch right here died completely. I might just I might leave this part. I'm gonna take the smaller pieces off. I think, but I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna take all these guys out of here. So I want to reallocate energy to other parts of the tree instead of all these little shoots that are coming off in places that we don't need branches so that you know so stuff over here so like this branch I'm gonna let that grow out here I'm gonna let these grow out I'm gonna let this grow uh, taking this off which I might just do that now take this off at the, the base of the tree just like that that looks like it could be a couple of trees actually I might make that into three trees Alright, so there's that. I'm sure you guys can see really well through all the grass that's growing on here. Take all this off. It had some really nice moss on here, and then this grass started growing, and it looked kind of cool during the summertime and the uh, spring and all that, because it's, it's kind of an interesting short really fine grass so I'm gonna leave it on here and let it grow again during the spring and summer next year. I want to get all the like the old foliage and leaves and stuff off of here so that the moss can grow and stay healthy instead of having all this stuff all up on top of it blocking out the light. really a good idea to um, clean the foliage or dead leaves off of your trees anyway because that can attract uh, pests and another thing I learned about this tree in particular it's very um, pest and disease uh, resistant so it doesn't say that it's resistant to all diseases and pests but it says it's resistant to most disease and pests so if you have issues with that kind of stuff this would be a really good tree to, to get because you won't have to worry as much about it. I also said that these are a really easy tree to take care of so somebody with a brown thumb would be able to take care of it just fine. And then somebody that's really good at growing trees will potentially kill it. <laughs> so anyway, that's kind of a joke, but hopefully I don't kill it. That'd be bad. Let's not kill a tree. Let's not kill it. I could later on, I could go through and pick all this stuff out with tweezers and stuff and make sure that it's all perfectly cleaned up but I won't do that for the video you don't need a two hour long video for teaching you how to take care of it I want you guys to get as much out of it out of the video as as you can without getting bored I say that because I get bored really easy so not that everybody would get bored really easy, but it's interesting. Alright, well that looks a lot better. I'm going to leave these. They're really interesting little flowers I'm pretty sure it's would be considered a weed I didn't put it in here so I, I think that it would be considered a weed but they do have really cute little purple flowers on them so I like that gives it a little bit of natural 
look to it. But I will clean up the dead stuff in there too. Trim it back a little bit. Maybe I'll trim it. Trim it back just a little bit so it's not hanging over the pot so much. So there's that. All right, that's already looking a lot better. It actually looks like a tree now. So now I'm gonna go back in here and keep cleaning up some of this smaller stuff here. Um, take that one off. It's on the bottom of the branch. That. I might be able to bend this out later or not see see how easy they, they de break off pretty easy so I don't know if I'd recommend using wire on these actually maybe if you're really good with wire or maybe there's a certain time of year that was not in the research that I did a certain time of year to bend with wire because it was it was a app that I used that um, it gives you descriptions on natural natural stuff not not necessarily bonsai stuff you know, I think I am going to take these off too I take those off also yeah that looks a lot better looks more like a tree Trim these back. I don't want to cut them too far in, because as you can see right here, it does heal over when you take off a large branch. But that looks like it's going to take quite a while for that to heal over. And one thing that you can do um, on some other trees that I've worked on, take your knife, make sure your knife is clean, and you can cut inside of the the wound and like re-injure very small edge of it and then that part will have to heal over also and that'll close close the gap I'm not sure I need to really complete that today maybe I'll work on that some more uh, later a later time but yeah it's got a really nasty scar right there which is kind of cool this tree i i dug it up in my my yard i honestly i, I think i just pulled it out of the ground because florida it's mostly sand so you can do that with some trees just go over and just pull them out of the ground some trees you can't do that um like i wouldn't do that with a pine tree i would definitely dig up a pine tree and try to uh, keep some of the soil that was around it some of these I'm gonna leave some of these as options for later so I'm gonna take I don't want to take that off I, I kind of hope that some of this grows back but some a lot of this looks like it's dead I see some green right here and here let me just trim these back. So maybe they're not 100% dead and it's just not recovered yet because it was putting all the energy down here. So hopefully it'll put some more energy out the top. This definitely feels like it's dead. But I also don't want... Um, that was great. That could have been a good branch. I don't want a whole lot of dead wood on this tree either. we'll see how these grow I mean if they grow they grow if they don't then later on we can always go and, and cut it off and I'll leave this because that might just end up being the apex of the tree not a big fan of that so I'm gonna take the what remains of the bark off of this piece just kind of 
I know it's I'm using tools and scratching the dead wood and all that stuff, but it'll, it'll be alright. Because it does have some green under this part of it. So I don't know if that would have grown back or not. You won't know because it's being cut off. When you take the the live the live bark off, it definitely comes off easier. It doesn't scratch or it doesn't um, cut into the woody part of the tree. You can just run it along it and get the just the bark. All right, so there's that. I'm also kind of trying to think of anything I might have missed. I'm working on this part here. I'm not sure I did miss anything. I think I, I, think I covered everything already. I'm going to try and cut this down in a kind of a concave um, look so that as this heals, it can just heal over the top of it and not make, make a really big knot right there. So that looks a lot more sparse than it was. I'm hoping that some of this stuff right up here um, grows back. If not, that's not going to be totally devastating. I could probably cut it off right about here, or I could cut it off right here and let that be the top. Maybe potentially I could just cut it off right here and let this be the tree over here also. Who knows? I might do that next year. And I might air layer it right here if I do that. Because then this could be another tree and we could let all this grow out and grow into a new tree. So yeah, that looks pretty good. I really like it. This is a this is a really interesting tree. I've, uh, being from Colorado, we didn't have these there, so, and they I don't think that you could get them at the garden center. And if you could, I just I never really paid attention. So, uh, so I never had one of these before I came out here. So this is actually a really cool tree. Really like it. So I think that is going to do it for this tree and for this video thank you for watching and thank you for all the new subscribers and i appreciate it. if you like the video give it a thumbs up so i know that you liked it um if you didn't like the video or there's some questions that you have leave a comment just just be polite and i like to i like to see the comments and read the comments uh, it helps me make um it helps me make better, better videos and helps me to um, bring you guys better content because that's really what I do this for. It's because I really like doing bonsai. Well, I love doing bonsai. I don't know if you can tell. I've got tons of them, but I love doing bonsai. I love growing trees. I love learning about them and, and working on them and stuff like that. So um, any comments would be awesome. So. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.